The first so-called e-highway in the world is being tested in Sweden in a bid to lower greenhouse gas emissions. The project was initiated by Sweden's Transport Authority and is the result of cooperation between engineering company Siemens and truck manufacturer Scania. I wouldn't really call it a groundbreaking innovation because basically it's the combination of some old and mature technologies. It's railway technology combined with truck technology. On the one hand side you have the, um, the efficiency of a railway system and you combine it with the um, flexibility of a truck system and that's the real advantage. For now the cable system covers a two kilometer stretch of the highway. The core of the system is an intelligent pantograph combined with a hybrid drive system. It's claimed to be both cheaper and cleaner than regular diesel engines. It is automatic on, on these wires, so you drive the truck perfectly as a normal truck. You don't do anything. You, you drive it along the white strips in the road. That's the only guidance you need today. And the electric uh, pantograph solves the rest. So if you stay in, in, your, uh, in your lane, you're perfectly right to, to pick up the electricity. If you have an obstacle in the road, like you need to do an overtake or something like that, you just go out in the, in the left lane and this system fully automatically goes down and you start up. Either you go on batteries for the short distance or you start up a combustion engine. So completely automatic. For the next two years, experts plan to run trials and gather data to measure the impact and to determine whether it could be expanded across the whole country.